Hi students, I am Ms. B. Ingwenya. I will be taking you for introductory computer practice and for lesson. I will be focusing on Microsoft Word. The topic that we'll be focusing on today, it is the manuscript signs, the margins and the line spacing. So I have scanned for you a document that we will be focusing on today. Uh, and the instructions that we need to follow. So this is the, an old uh, previous question paper. First instruction, it says that we have to retrieve the document question 1A from your data diskets or hard drive. Retrieving the document, we have to make sure that the font size is Arial 12. Font size and the font style. The document has already been typed for you. Things that you said you have to be aware of. See, my one, it's been typed in Calibri body and it's size 11. Yours has to be Arial size 12. So you need to highlight everything, change it to Arial size 12. There you go. Go back to our previous question paper. Change the question paper to question 1B and insert your examination number on your left hand side of the header. That means the question number has to be on your right and the examination number has to be on your left. Going back to your document, you go to insert, you go to header. Please use the blank three columns option. On your left, it is your examination number. So I will just use an example. You have to put in your identity number. Center, there is nothing before you use backspace. And then on your right, it is question 1B. Make sure that when you're writing question 1B, you write it in capital letters. Then you close your header. You go back to your question paper. Edit the document question 1B according to the manuscript signs as indicated in the text. The manuscript signs that they are talking about are these ones that I am pointing with my cursor. These ones, you have to follow all of these instructions and make the changes. So the first one is saying that we have to insert our solar system as a heading. It must be in bold. It must be in uppercase, bold, center, and space caps. You go back to your doc type document. You enter twice so that you will have space for your heading. You said it must be in bold, in uppercase, and center and they said we have to use space caps i will explain the space how do you do space caps as we are do, going to type the heading so the heading is our solar system therefore you start typing it's o space u space r immediately when you form one word you leave three spaces so it is one letter space after each word and then after each alphabet, and then after a word, it is three spaces. Therefore, you leave one, two, three. Then you start again. Your heading is already been inserted. Next instruction, it says we have to leave three line spaces so it is one two that means we have to leave another one so that it becomes three line spaces next instruction it says that we have to indent left and right hand, hand margins with 1.8 inches or three centimeters you go back to your type document, you go to layout, here is your indentation. To differentiate between whether you should use 3 centimeters or 1.8 inches, uh, this is how you see it. In my case, my computer, it is, it is set up in centimeters, therefore I would use 3 centimeters instead of 1.8 inches. So you click right there and then you backspace the zero and then you type three 
for three centimeters on your left you have to do the same on your right which is three centimeters on your right your paragraph is already about being indented go back to your instruction it says you have to delete here's the next instruction you have to delete jupiter satan uranus and neptune go back to your type document you highlight where you need to, the part that needs to be deleted then simply play, press backspace going back to our question paper it says we need to justify this whole paragraph go back to question paper you highlight the paragraph where you need changes to be done on and then you go back to home and here is justify you click on justify the changes are been made go back to your previous question paper it says we have to leave two line spaces and then we have to on the first and second row we have to change rosetta con uh, spacecraft rosetta stone london's british museum to be uppercase and italics you go back to your document you highlight rosetta spacecraft you said it must be in italics and uppercase rosetta stone also highlighted it must be in italics and uppercase London's British Museum highlighted. Remember, do you do not highlight the, the, the full stop? Must be in italics too and uppercase. Changes are been done. You go back to your question question paper. It says you have to put in what you have to do and you, you have to insert a new paragraph. Way here from here. So Rosetta will be another paragraph. So you go back to your typed document. From here, you enter twice for what? A new paragraph as they have indicated. Go back to your question paper. They say we need to underline the first sentence, which is Rosetta will be the first spacecraft to soft land a robot on a comet remember do not underline the exclamation mark because as you can see on the on the question paper it stops there by the word comet not on the exclamation mark you go back to your type document you highlight the parts that need to be made changes off and then you click on underline changes have been made you go back to your question paper Next instruction, it says we have to transpose. Therefore, frightened needs to move to where inspired is, and inspired needs to move where frightened is. To transpose, we're going to use cut and paste. So we're going to cut frightened. Right click, and then you go to cards. Click next to inspired, and then you paste. Again, you need to cut inspired and paste where frightened was trans uh, it, it has been the changes have been made it has been transposed right next instruction says on the new paragraph you have to insert this new paragraph this new paragraph has you have to type this paragraph it's not been typed for you so you have to type it and then it must be in uppercase, bold and center. In this case, I've already typed it for you. So we need to do the changes. To do the changes, you need to highlight the paragraph first. They said it must be in uppercase, bold and center. Go back to your document. It must be in uppercase, bold and center going back to your question paper we have done all the instructions that we here so there's nothing more you've uh, gained your 30 marks on your first section of your question paper and 
we are done for today's lesson. I hope you will find it fruitful and you will be able to do the next ones soon. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed your, our first lesson until we see each other on our second lesson. Thank you very much.